Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code by weekly contest 108. Uh, it's a medium level problem, but the score that you get up after solving this problem is four. So uh, yes, somewhat between second or the third level problem, not exactly uh, up to the mark toward third level problem, right? Uh, but let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is partition string into minimum beautiful substrings, right? So it says that given a binary string S, partition the string into one or more substrings such that each substring is beautiful, right? Now a string is beautiful if it doesn't contain any leading zeros and its binary representation is a power of five, right? These are the two conditions, no leading zeros and the binary representation of that number, right? So basically the number that you have, it should be a power of five, right? Return the minimum number of substrings in such partition. If it is impossible to partition the string S, into beautiful substrings return minus one a substring is contiguous sequence of characters in a string right let's see what it is saying so this is the string that you have one zero one one right so you have to do minimum number of partitions probably none right so let's see whether we are able to form a beautiful string or not right so i have one zero one one let's partition it suppose i partition it from here so i get one and zero one one so here just see it's five raised to zero. Yes, this is a valid string, but this is not valid because you have a leading zero. So that means I cannot partition the string from here. Now let's check the other option one zero. Let's partition it from here one one. This is two. No, this is not a power of five. So again, not valid. Let's do it like this one zero one and then one. So what's this? This is five raised to one. This is five raised to zero. Yes, this is a valid partition, right? This is a valid partition. So it says that you can partition the string into these things so total you can have two strings right this is just this is the minimum number of uh, partitions that you need to write now let's look into the second example it's one 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 let's do this suppose i partition it from here what do i get it's five raised to zero and this is three not valid what about this again not valid let's partition it from in, into more parts right one 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 so just see, this is five raised to zero, five raised to zero, five raised to zero. Yes, so the minimum number of partitions that I need to do is, uh, the number of partitions that I need to form is basically three, right? You split it from two positions, you get total three substrings, three beautiful strings, right? The last one is zero. So no matter, it's a single character, but no matter whatever you perform, whatever operation you perform, however you partition it, you cannot get a beautiful string. So you return minus one here, right? This is the problem. Again, as I said, I would not rate it, it, it as a third level LC problem, right? Lead code problem, sort of uh, somewhat between second or the third level problem. And I'll sh show you why, right? The main reason is this. The length of the string is 15, right? It's a very small string, right? You can apply a brute force here, try partitioning it everywhere without doing a memoization. So that's what I've done here, right? Had the length of the string been large, I would have memoized it, right? But again, um, I have not done it, right? Let's see what the problem is, uh, how we can solve this problem, right? Let me first tell you the approach, okay? So as I told you, you can apply a brute force here. What do I mean by brute force? Brute force is suppose I have a string 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. I, I've written some random string, right? So what I can do is, I can split my string from here, okay? I can split my string from here. I check that splitting from here, it gives me 5 raised to 0, okay? Now, this is a valid split. Now the remaining part is this. Okay. So what do you do? You call the same function on this substring on this substring. And what the job of this uh, function will be that if this is a valid uh, split, if this is a valid split, it will tell me the minimum number of partitions that I need to do in this substring. Okay. To form it, uh, to, to basically get beautiful strings, right? That means if suppose I have to do X number of splits here to form beautiful substrings, then the total number of splits for the to the whole string will be x plus one, right? Because I did one split here and the total number of splits I had to do in the, you know, remaining substring was x, right? This is one of the ways. Let me erase it. Now, what's the second possibility? One, zero, one, one. I don't remember the exact string that I wrote. Partition it from here, check for here. You get one answer, okay? If this is not true, partition it from here. Check it for here again, okay? Then remove check it from here right getting it so it's like this one zero one one zero one partition partition it from here so you get one and you get zero one one zero one again do the same thing partition from here zero one one zero one partition from here one zero one partition from here zero one getting it 
सो बेसिक आई वुड से रिकर्सिव सोल्यूशन एंड या ब्रूट फोर्स यू कैन मेमोइज इट सो दैट्स वट आई आई डू आई चेक आई एल जस्ट चेक ऑल दी पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड आई एल जस्ट रिटर्न दी मिनिमम आंसर राइट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टू मच डेप फॉर दिस सोल्यूशन बिकॉज अगेन यू यू शुड हैव सम बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग राइट एंड रिकर्शन देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन आई हैव आई कॉल दिस सॉल्व एस इफ आंसर इज ग्रेटर दैन फिफ्टीन आई डू माइनस वन आई टेल यू आई ओके डोंट वरी सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन दैट आई हैव आई पास दिस स्ट्रिंग ओके फगर अबाउट दिस ओके फगर अबाउट दिस लेट्स कम टू द मेन सोल्यूशन राइट माई आंसर इज ट्वेंटी नाउ बेसिकली आई हैव टू रिटर्न द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पार्टीशन राइट द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज फिफ्टीन राइट सो आई कैन रिटर्न एनी नंबर एनी नंबर लार्ज देन फिफ्टीन ईयर राइट आई कैन रिटर्न इंटीजियर मैक्स ऑल्सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वैलिड बट वॉट विल हैपन इफ आई इफ आई स्टार्ट रिटर्निंग इंटीजियर डॉट मैक्स देन वॉट विल हैपन सपोज योर आंसर इज इनिशलाइज बाई इंटीजियर डॉट मैक्स and the function that you call also returns in integer dot max right so 1 plus integer dot max will overflow so that is why instead of taking integer dot max i can take any value which which basically satisfy my condition in this case any value greater than 15 will satisfy your condition it will act as a large number because if the length of the what do you call it string is 15 obviously you cannot have more than 15 parts so i have just taken a values 20 right now i equals to 0 str dot length Just see what I am doing. String str dot substring zero say i plus one. It means that if this is your substring, so first split like this, okay, is valid current. So in, initially your current will be just this part, and then you call the function for this. Now when you do it again, when you come back to this recursive call, you partition it like this. One zero will form current, okay, and this will will the new string which I will send here, right? So if the the first substring that i form the current one if that is valid then answer equals to math dot min of answer 1 plus this one is basically because i'm doing one split one split plus solve str of substring i plus 1 meaning if you are splitting from here right so you have taken two characters now the remaining characters that is i plus 1 will be the remaining string so solve it solve for this right what's my base condition base condition is obviously when you get an empty string empty string you return zero Right, yeah, you don't need to do any partition, right? Finally, you return your answer. Okay, so I I hope we do not need too much explanation on this, right? That's what I've done here. Again, had it been a hard problem, what I, what we would have done here is that keep uh, just memoize it. What to memoize? Suppose one zero one zero one one zero something like this. Now suppose I am at this stage that I need to calculate the answer for this part. Okay. so instead of calculating the answer for this part again and again once i have calculated i just store it somewhere maybe in a map in an in an array wherever but i need i'll just store it so that i do not recompute it right this is the memoization part that you can do um but yeah i have not done it here because of the local constraint right and i had to submit the code fast that's the main thing now what is this is valid function so whatever is the uh, substring that i am you know extracting i pass it here is valid it it tells that the the string that you have just created is it valid or not is it beautiful or not so if the first character is zero you return false because the first character should not be zero it should not start with zero for a beautiful string right what is the second condition second condition is the decimal representation of the of the, the so you get a binary string converted into decimal that should be a power of 5 so that's what i've done here just see value equals to 0 and this is how you convert um, basically a string into an integer so suppose you have 1 0 1 so i start from here okay initially val equals to 0 so i do val equals to val into 2 so 0 into 0 is 0 only plus 1 that means if you just consider this part the val the decimal value is 1 now when i come to the next step i multiply it by 2 because i am left shifting it so it becomes 2 plus 0 because you have 0 here okay Now, when I come to this portion, I again multiply it, but it becomes four plus this is one, so you get five, right? So again, I I hope you know how to convert a binary to integer, right? Decimal, right? So this is what you do. So this the value is basically the decimal representation, and again, this is also not a good way basically to check whether it's power of five or not. You can use log functions, but again, this this again is doing the same thing, right? What log does? So I start with one. so this current is uh keeping a track of all the powers of 5 obviously 5 power 0 is 1 then it will be 5 then 25 and so on 
so while current is less than equals to val because i need to check whether val is power of 5 or not so if current equals to val return true or else increment current so what you will do you start with 1 then you go to 5 then 25 then 125 so you keep on multiplying by 5 okay just one of the ways of how we check whether a particular number is power of 5 or not again there can be multiple ways this is just one of the ways that i have done okay you can use log functions as well log base 5 that will also work here right i just wrote the code what actually log does work right and then finally return first right so that's what we do so ultimately here what we are doing calling the function okay um, if the empty if it's an empty string return zero or else what you do you keep on generating all these substrings and then calling uh, the function for the remaining sub uh, some remaining substring right uh, whatever is the minimum answer you just return it now if answer is greater than 15 um, so basically if you're doing more than 15 splits uh, that means you cannot do any valid split right ultimately you don't you cannot get beautiful strings right so you return your answer is minus one and hence um, i return that answer right that's it that's it. all we need to do for this solution and you can see the accuracy is also not that low for this problem right as compared to the other level three problems that you can in other contests right because it's a four point problem right so yeah i i hope you learn something new from this video right uh, that if the constraints are low yes you can skip the memoization part or else obviously a better way to cover all the edge cases is that if the constraints are high you can just memoize it i i have already shown you where to memoize right so yeah if you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye